Hey, this is Harold Nixon with HaroldNixon.com. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about group channels. Uh, this is super handy if you're uh, routing uh, multiple uh, tracks to one channel and then you can process them or just do volumes or whatever. So I'll go ahead and jump right into it. And It's not a really big deal so I won't go on and on about it like I normally do. But um, what we can do is you can, uh, as, as adding any track, you can either go project, add track, and then choose group channel, or you can right click on the multi-track, add channel, group channel, or on the, on the uh, mixer itself. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it on the mixer here, add track, and then group channel. Okay, we want to choose our style. So I want this to be stereo because I want to be able to pan uh, all my mono files into that and keep their stereo image. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now if we scroll all the way over to the right here, you'll see I've already added one group. We'll see our new group we've added, group 2. So I could call it, um, oh I don't know, um, whatever we were doing there. Um, and uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to route the channels that you want going to it. Now you can actually route sends to a group if you want. Um, that can be handy sometimes. Uh, but mainly the, the way you're going to do it is uh, uh, actually routing the track itself to it. So uh, let's say I want to route... Okay, I'm going to change this to... No, yeah, I'm going to change this to uh, Banjo. And I'm going to route the two uh, Banjo tracks that I have to that, just for an example here. So I've got Banjo left and right. So what I'm going to do now is uh, the inputs are at the top here, these right here, and uh, then we have the uh, outputs at the bottom. Now you can also get to this via the E button. I think on the lighter versions it all depends on your version of Cubase, but this is pretty universal. Once you see what it is, you'll understand, even if it doesn't show up exactly the same way. Um, okay, so I'm going to choose, uh, click right here, normally it's routed to master right now. Uh, and what I want to do is come down here to groups, and you can see where I did the one called Banjo. So I want to select it. Now it's patched to the Banjo. So let's open up the right Banjo channel and do the same thing. Alright, Groups, Banjo. Uh, now normally I do it just right here because you can just click at the top and get to them all right there. But you can see everything else is routed to Master while I've got these two channels routed to Banjo. So now let's go over here and Solo. Now you can see everything else is muted except for those, so let's play that. So if we unsolo it. Now we could route multiple instruments to this if we wanted to. Now that's handy to do if you've got uh, bus compression, like uh, you want to compress, for example, let's say you've got three or four vocal uh, tracks, and you route those to a group and then you can put uh, compression over all those so it makes it really kind of a tight mix. You can also reverb that uh, or EQ that. It's just another handy tool uh, and just another uh, uh, thing you can use to paint the picture of your mix. So uh, I won't go on about it anymore, but it's a really useful thing, group tracks. So thank you again for watching. Uh, visit HaroldNixon.com.